Welcome to Chattanooga, Tennessee. We're here on one of the most iconic landmarks in Chattanooga, the Walnut Street Bridge. And today I'm gonna to take you on a tour of downtown Chattanooga, specifically along the riverfront here. So we're gonna start things off by heading over to North Shore. Now, if you're new to the area or if you're thinking about moving here, or if you just wanna know more about Chattanooga, then this video is for you. All right, let's go check out North Shore. That's where we just were, the Walnut Street Bridge, which is actually one of the longest pedestrian bridges in the US. Now we're gonna head over into Coolidge Park here. And Coolidge Park is one of my favorite places downtown Chattanooga. In fact, when I was a kid, my family spent a lot of time down here. There's this really cool water feature that I wanna bring your attention to. So there's all these animals that are all the way around. And I remember when I was a kid, I would come down here with my family and on hot summer days, we'd play in this fountain. Now, Nathaniel, if you pan the camera over here, you can see this building here houses a carousel, and there's all these hand-carved animals in there. Really, Coolidge Park is an amazing feature to have in a downtown. All right, from Coolidge Park, we're gonna head up to Fraser Avenue. Now, all over Chattanooga, there's murals and wall art like this, and this is one of the things that I love about this area. There's just a lot of creativity, a lot of artistry. It's a colorful city. You've got all this beautiful nature and beautiful colors in the city itself. We're here on Fraser Avenue. Let's actually go this way. Now, Fraser Avenue is home to one of my weaknesses. It's just up here, we've got Clumpy's ice cream. It gets pretty hot in Chattanooga in the summer. And let me tell you, there's nothing like an icy cold scoop of Clumpy's ice cream on a hot, humid summer day. Now, whenever I talk to younger people that are thinking about moving to Chattanooga, all of them wanna to move to North Shore. Now, this is because you've got all kinds of new apartment buildings here with amazing amenities. There's some older homes up on the hill behind me, and there's a lot of new construction. In addition, you've got access to Renaissance Park here and Coolidge Park. So if you wanna go out and exercise, or if you wanna get out to the river, it's not very far. Also, say you're throwing a house party and you forgot to grab something, well, no problem. You've got a Publix and a Whole Foods right here on North Shore. Okay, so that's been North Shore. If you want a more detailed look at this side of town, make sure to let me know in the comments and I'll consider doing a video dedicated to this side of town. Now we're gonna head back across the Walnut Street Bridge and we're gonna go check out the Bluff View Art District, which is one of my favorite parts of Chattanooga. Like I was saying, the Bluff View Art District is one of my favorite places downtown. In fact, I come down here almost every weekend. Now, as we approach, you can see the Hunter Museum of American Art. And it's these three buildings that span across this cliff here with a view overlooking the Tennessee River. If you like art, this is definitely a place to come check out. They also rent this place out for events like cocktail parties, auctions, corporate events, and weddings. In fact, last year I got married right there in this building on the right side of the Hunter Museum. My wife and I love coming out here and hanging out in this area. And we also love going through the museum. They have rotating exhibits that are always really cool to see. So I highly recommend if you're in town. That's the Walnut Street Bridge where we just were. And then here's the Hunter Museum of American Art. And as we cross this walking bridge here, we are making our way to the Bluff View Art District. So the Bluff View Art District has a bunch of really cool shops and art stores, and there's even an inn. But there's two things here that I really wanna highlight. The first is Rembrandt's. So Rembrandt's is a coffee shop up here, and it's one of my favorite coffee shops, not necessarily because of the coffee, the coffee is good, but there's this amazing patio here that's covered with these beautiful vines. And in the spring, the flowers on these bloom a beautiful purple, and it's really just a magical place to come hang out. You can see their patio right through here. I'll definitely come back here and show you guys this in the spring. Now, the other thing I wanna draw your attention to is Tony's. So Tony's is this Italian place here in the Bluff View Art District. They do all their own handmade pastas. If you're in the Bluff View Art District, this is the place to go for Italian food. So this is the kind of stuff you can expect to see in the Bluff View Art District. You've got cool installations like this. I mean, look at this. And just imagine this in the spring, in the spring or in the summer when everything's blooming. 
This is absolutely beautiful. You've got vines climbing their way up over this. So now we're gonna head down from the art district and we're gonna go check out the riverfront. As we head down toward the riverfront, I wanna mention the Edwin Hotel really quick. Now the Edwin is a Marriott autograph collection hotel and it just might be the best place to stay in Chattanooga. What's great about the Edwin is you have a restaurant on the main floor here, the White Bird. They do breakfast, brunch on the weekends, and dinners. And then you've got the Whiskey Thief up on the rooftop. Now, as we head down toward the riverfront, you've got beautiful apartments on both sides of us here. These ones have great riverfront views, and then these ones are just a little bit back, and you've got views of the bridge. Nathaniel, do you want to pan up there and show those? I mean, when you talk about location, this is an absolutely amazing place to live. You've got the aquarium right down there. You've got the bridge, so quick access to North Shore. You've got access to all the south side right out here. And then if you're on this edge of the apartments, you've got views of Lookout Mountain just over there. Here, pan up and show them Lookout Mountain. Now, the star of the show here on the riverfront is the Tennessee Aquarium. When I was a kid, my family would come down here all the time. And to this day, this is one of my favorite places to come hang out in Chattanooga. You've got the fresh water, and if you pan over here, you've got the saltwater aquarium. And both of them are phenomenal. I mean, for a town this size, the aquariums really do punch above their weight class. So a few other things to note on the riverfront, you have high point climbing right down here. Now, this is an amazing climbing gym. It's absolutely huge. So if you're into climbing, it's a great place to come hang out. Also, right over here, we have the IMAX. Now, I'm not exactly sure where the riverfront technically ends. I don't know how far back it actually goes. I know at some point it changes from riverfront to city center. And I looked everywhere online, but it seems like there's not really a clear boundary. But people do consider High Point and the IMAX to be part of the riverfront. If you come with me this way, we're gonna go check out the actual river and what's called Ross's Landing. This area here is called Ross's Landing. And if you pan over there, you can see we've got the Market Street Bridge and the Walnut Street Bridge that connect this side of the river to North Shore. Back behind me, you've got the aquarium here. Now, Ross's Landing is where they do a lot of different events or festivals. Like typically the Riverbend Music Festival is down here. The Iron Man, the Chattanooga Iron Man, also finishes right over here. They utilize this space for a lot of different things, and it's a cool place to come hang out, especially when there's events going. And that's where we're gonna bring this video to an end. I'm going to be posting some content soon that shows the city center, south side, and more of what Chattanooga has to offer. So if you'd like to see that, make sure to follow along. Now, as I alluded to in this video, I grew up in Chattanooga, but I left for a number of years, and then last year I made the decision to move back. So if you'd like to know the five reasons that made me decide to move back to Chattanooga, make sure to watch this video right here. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.